Right. Prior to World War II, if you were going to give somebody an injection, a sub subcutaneous injection of morphine or some other medicine, um, you would use a glass syringe like this, and you would have a sterile needle to put on the end. If you um, did that, sometimes especially back in World War One, they used this needle sterilizer. They would put the needle in here with a little bit of water, a little alcohol lamp, a sterilized needle. Ah, but they generally would use them over and over without sterilizing. Um, by the time of World War Two, in fact, 1943, uh, the Squibb Company, pharmaceutical company, came up with what they call a morphine syrette. Uh, the morphine syrette had a pre-measured dose of one quarter grain of morphine in a sealed foil tube. It had a protective plastic cover, which you would pull off when you were ready to inject it. This is a uh, small wire with a thumb protector that you would push down into the needle. This wire goes into the needle, and you want to push that down about an eighth of an inch because that's going to pierce the foil seal. Then you would take this part off and throw it away. That would expose the needle, and then the needle would be given to the soldier who was wounded, either in the shoulder, arm, thigh, closest to the wound in one of the extremities. Uh, when they were done, they would, doing that, they would squeeze this to inject it, they would pull it out, they would take the syringe, or the syrette, and they would pin it with the needle to the outer lapel or shirt or coat. So if another medic would come along, they could see that there was evidence that he had already gotten some more from earlier. Wow. That's ingenious. Yeah.